Saying hello. Hi, everybody. What is up? Starting this video in my laundry room because I've been meaning to do laundry for the past week and a half and I haven't done any. It's time to begin. While I'm doing my wifely duties, figured I'd tell you guys the game plan. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna vlog for the next week. A vlog a day keeps the doctors away. That's what they all say. This may seem random, but there is a reason that I want to do seven days of videos. It's gonna be so much fun. First of all, one of my favorite times of the year is Vlogmas. It's officially July now, so that's halfway to Vlogmas. This week can be a mini let's get excited for Christmas week. Too soon? I still use these even though they cause me to violently break out. I bought them, so I have to use them. We just use a little bit. Are these clean or dirty? That's the problem here, is I have too many things going on. I have told you so many times that I have an eating disorder. Recently said eating disorder is very bad. Pretty much takes over my daily life. So many stains on this shirt. Anytime I feel any sort of emotion, I eat. That's how I've coped with things since being a child. It has stuck with me as I've grown up. I haven't been on any medications for my anxiety or my depression in a couple months now because I moved, they can't prescribe me here, so I'm in the process of getting like a new psychiatrist. So we've just been raw dog in life recently. I think some of you guys are starting to notice. I don't post as much, I don't tell you guys anything about my life or that's been going on, and I think that's coping mechanism. This week is my way to apologize, to say I'm sorry for being a shitty friend, a shitty creator the past few months. There's something going on in the crotch of these pants. I'm trying to make it up to you, and I'm trying to include you guys. I'm here at the house alone for the next few days, so I figured what better time to vlog, because I won't feel so alone. I do have a roommate. A lot of you guys seem kind of confused by that situation, and you know what? I don't blame you, because I didn't really explain it very well. I just kind of thrust you into the situation. I'm hoping we can get more caught up <laughs> this week. She won't be here for a week or two. Back to living alone for a few days. That wouldn't stress me out. I love being alone. Except when I don't have a vehicle. That car that I just bought and told you guys that I love so much, the check engine light came on as well as the radio doesn't work. I wore these with the tag on them. That's mortifying. Tomorrow at 7 a.m. I have to drop my car off at a dealership and then Uber back to the house. I have no idea how long they're gonna have my car for, so we might be stuck here. Which is honestly fine because I'm behind on so many things in life. I was sick for the past like two weeks. Deathly ill, 104 degree fever sick. I still feel like I'm sort of recovering from that, but I only can milk that for so long. It's not the morning. Ugh! Look at this. DoorDash says, Samantha, new eats near you. Stop messaging me! I have an appointment tomorrow with a psychiatrist, so I'll let you know if they give me the goods. I don't even know. A couple weeks ago, I had bought like an inflatable pool. If I get bored enough, I'll inflate it and we can go swimming outside together. I'm forcing myself to film this, edit it, and post it because if I don't, I'm just gonna film it and then never do it. Look at this. I get sauce stains on every shirt. The washer I bought came with this little stain scrubber. If I tell you guys about it, I don't want to let you down. So that's the plan. This laundry is taking me way too long. Are you gonna go? I have to go run some errands to prepare to be stuck at home for the next, we don't even know how long, honestly. I'm giving them my car tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm hoping to have it back by Tuesday. That means we have to spend the entire weekend in the house. Also, I feel like I started talking about the whole binging thing before, but I wanna see if I can go a week without binging. And maybe you guys can pick something that you wanna try and be better at this week. And we can do it together. Another one of my goals in each and every video, I'm gonna try and drink a gallon of water. I've been so dehydrated for the past like six months. I just got off the phone with the dealership that I bought my car from and I need to go there and pick up an extended like temp tag. My plates have not come in yet. And then because we're probably gonna be without a car, I need to go to the grocery store. Instacart and groceries is expensive and if you guys watched my cleaning my room video, I'm doing cash stuffing this month just to see how it goes. Dip my toes in the budgeting community. Paying extra for stuff on Instacart just doesn't sound like it's in the budget. Car dealership, Trader Joe's. I'm not gonna be able to do anything on 
wag, which is honestly heartbreaking. I do have a bicycle, so if there's a walk that someone needs and we're within like a two mile range, I could probably bike there, but probably not, let's be honest. A few minutes later. I have not vlogged a lot in the new car, and you're probably not gonna see much of her this week. We all know why. Am I about to drive through a storm? Because I've seen lightning three times now. If you guys did not know this about me, I'm terrified of thunderstorms. I hate them, I hate lightning, I hate everything about it. I don't know why, but it just triggers every part of trauma within me. I've never been struck by lightning, so I don't know what trauma it's triggering, but it's something. It's in there. In me car. Vroom vroom. We could have carpool karaoke except my radio doesn't work, but that's okay. I'll just talk to you instead I actually have half a battery, so I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. I hate doing adult things like this This is something I wish my mom was here to do for me I wish she could drive to the car dealership and get a new tag for me This is not one of the things that I signed up for when it comes to being an adult There are just certain things that will always be better when your parents do them for you car dealership stuff is one of them do, 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 do. I have a 30 minute drive ahead of me to get to the car dealership. how you're supposed to do this when you're doing like budget book cash stuffing but I went to the budget book and I just took the whole page out that says food on it I think I put $200 in here for groceries most of the people I was watching were cash stuffing every two weeks I don't get paid bi-weekly I get paid like randomly throughout the month oh no I was too worried about my cash stuffing I just went all the way across the highway I'm gonna go to the dealership I can't do daily vlogs if I'm dead I don't Sticking. Worst part about summer is wearing shorts and sticking to leather seats. I'm almost there. I have this feeling that they don't have the temp tag ready. So instead of just waiting at the dealership, I'm gonna give them a little bit more time and go get Dutch Bros first. There is weird stuff on the back of my earring. Okay, remind me to clean that. It is 4 p.m. so I probably don't need Dutch Bros. But I have to go to the grocery store and make dinner yet. I have a whole day ahead of me. Should we look for the Jeep? Did someone buy her already? Wait, can we find the person that bought my Jeep? I'm gonna go do adult things. BRB. A few moments later. I was overthinking that. That was by far the easiest adult task I've ever had to do. I peeled it off and put it on my car. I deserve a reward for that. It was a stop sign. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna be waiting for a minute. What if I set you right here? I've already been here for 10 minutes and I've maybe moved two cars forward. So this was not the move. The line is so long. Do I blame them? No, everyone loves Dutch Bros. I love Dutch Bros. Whenever things like this happen, I just try to tell myself that there's a reason for them to take so long. Maybe if I would have gotten on the road to drive to Trader Joe's 10 minutes earlier, I would have gotten in a crash. And that's the reason the Dutch Bros line was so long was to keep me off of the road. If I tell myself things like that, I'm able to have more patience. I don't care what you say. Sometimes having patience is hard. I never showed you guys. I went and got my nails done. How cute are they? What do we think? These are some chili peppers, some checkers, some smiles, some strawberries, some s'more swirls. This one's kind of crooked. We all have our imperfections. Honestly, I didn't realize how much I didn't feel like myself without my nails done. Look at the progress we've made. It's been good reflection time. I'm also 40 minutes away from Trader Joe's. I have a pimple. I haven't got my period in 60 days, 61 days. I have PCOS, if you guys didn't know. Sometimes I'll have my period for six months straight and then sometimes I don't get my period at all. I keep getting my hormonal breakouts, having period symptoms, but I never get my period. Also, I'm almost out of gas. I never thought this moment would come, but I'm getting my drink. Thank you, thanks. Now there's literally barely any line at all. Sorry. I'm constantly apologizing when I'm driving because I'm constantly messing up. <sighs> Worth the wait, honestly. It was at this moment that I realized if I didn't get gas now, I wasn't gonna make it.
grocery haul. Spinach. You guys are gonna see how I use all this food in the next few days. I don't really have to tell you, but I'm gonna use this in salads and in smoothies. I got these for my sandwiches. It's the Trader Joe's version of like a veggie straw. Chopped kale for a salad. I've been trying to eat more like of actual lettuce instead of just like romaine iceberg lettuce that probably has no nutritional value to it. You just have to massage the crap out of your kale. Otherwise it tastes weird. Pomegranate seeds for my yogurt in the morning. I tried to get a lot of vegetables because my goal is to eat vegetables with every meal. Cocktail cucumbers, Parmesan cheese. Some health shots. I didn't have ketchup in my house, so I got ketchup. Spicy honey, minced garlic, a singular potato, Trader Joe's light blend of cheese. I thought this would be fun for us to cut up together. I had one a while back and my mom cut it up for me, so I'm gonna try and cut this one. Salsa, broccoli, blackberries for my yogurt. I saw these and just wanted to try them. It's a plum cot. I love sweet corn, so I got some sweet corn. Marinara sauce for the pizza that I'm gonna make. Riced cauliflower. Why did I buy this? It's like peeled garlic. I must not have communicated very well with myself. Mini sweet pepper. One of my goals for these seven days is to like actually get ready. But this is, this is an intro. This is day one. Green beans. I never knew I liked green beans. And I had them recently and they were really good. So I'm excited to cook them myself. I got some fries in case I wanted to throw some in the air fryer. You know, if I'm feeling like I want McDonald's. I stocked up on frozen fruit for my smoothies because I've been out for a while. So I haven't been able to have smoothies. I got blueberries, pineapples, strawberries, and mangoes. Got some regular strawberries. I like putting this in salads it's just grilled chicken breast that's like pre-cooked I also put it in wraps I wanted to try this salad it sounded good it's a Mexicali salad ground turkey breast but I didn't need to get chicken breast because I have a bunch in my freezer that's my grocery haul I'm gonna put this away and then I'm going to make myself a little pizza lazy girl dinner commence the most important stuff away and I move straight to cooking. I will put everything else away later. We have priorities right now. I'm gonna have two. You might think that's a dumb decision. I don't. Extreme wellness wraps. I love things that don't take very long. What's the serving for this? A half of a cup, a third of a cup. I don't wanna use too much. I love pizza sauce. I'm a saucy girl. It's gonna be some real thin crust. I'm not sure you need a ton of sauce. Like I think this is enough. I think it's actually a lot. Mozzarella cheese. The only reason I measure things out at all is just so I have an idea of the portion I'm eating. I feel like my portions are so distorted in my head. Like that is not enough cheese. And maybe that's the Wisconsin girly in me. I know I just told you guys I'm gonna have vegetables for each meal. So I should probably, should I put a spinach leaf on it? Don't they do that for pizza? Might be basil. One, three, five, seven. Seven slices per pizza. When I was younger, I used to take a slice of pepperoni, I'd put a little pizza sauce on it, and a little cheese, and then I'd eat it. Should I do that just to show you? So you just put a little bit of pasta sauce, a tiny bit of cheese. Mmm, that hits different. Now I'm putting this in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I become more of a chef every single day that I exist. 20 minutes later. I may or may not have already had a little triangle. It is so good. I'll eat a vegetable tomorrow. I'm gonna call this my emotional support pizza from now on. that same evening. I just recorded an entire clip that wasn't recording. I was telling you guys that I have an entire WAG video made that I just haven't posted yet. I've been doing WAG for a few weeks now. When I'm alone, I try not to do things at night that is just freaky. Going on a walk in the dark by yourself is freaky. Want to know what else is freaky? Going into people's houses at night. Night shift is a real thing. There are puppies at home that need to go out. If I'm up, I'm not going to tell them no. This girl that I've helped out quite a few times asked me if I could stop in and see the cutest dog. As one last hurrah until I get my car back. I was snuggled into bed and everything. I'm even like walking around my own house at night. Ooh, let's go outside. Just swag walking at 11 p.m. I'll give you guys five bucks if you go pee. Good job. This is their favorite bush. I don't know what's so enticing about this bush, you guys, but it's a winner every single time. I was thinking about this the other day. Why are we so afraid of the dark? First of all, it is very loud outside right now. Everything outside is the same at night as it is during the day. So why are we so afraid of it at night just because it's dark? 
are, you know? Thoughts of the day. I'm not gonna lie, I've come here so many times now and I still get scared. Like walking back to my car. I just love dogs. I just love animals. They're so much nicer than people and they don't ever call you names. People call me names a lot. I was about to click import on this clip and I was just sitting here minding my own business. I looked like this and I was ready to chat. I just heard a loud boom right outside my house. It wasn't fireworks. It wasn't lightning. It literally sounded like the pop of a pistol and I'm, I'm really scared. I'm here alone. Well, with that being said, I'm gonna go freak out for the rest of the evening probably. My anxiety is just through the roof. I've been all over the place today. I can't keep my mind in like one steady stream of thoughts. I'm excited to hang out with you again tomorrow. I love you lots. I'll see you tomorrow.